Hello everybody, I'm Thorion and today I will show you 5 unknown stage builder tricks in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 1 If we make a certain shape using grass or wood terrain, fighters who interact with its open side get instantly KO'd. For this to work, we're going to start by drawing its open side as shown using sections of 4 grid blocks. Then we'll make the shape 21 grid blocks long and 28 grid blocks high. Next, we'll shrink it while holding the L button on the controller until it's about 6.5 grid blocks high. After we have ticked its gravity box, we're going to place a flat piece of terrain a bit less than one grid block under the shape. Once done, fighters who walk into its open side or stop moving within its center will be immediately sent off screen. If this trick doesn't seem to work properly, you can change the shape's size while holding the L button or place the shape either more or less close to the flat piece of terrain. Number 2 It's possible to control rails or gears through terrain. To do so, we're going to make the same shape as in the third trick shown in my previous video. After that, we'll attach some terrain to one end of the thin platform and a switch to the other. Next, we'll attach a rail to the terrain. Once the rail is activated, the thin platform will go through anything that isn't directly connected to it. This trick is very useful for making interactive stages, like this crane game, for example. Number 3 Did you know that it's possible to make empty circles? To do so, we're going to draw a circle, then draw a smaller one inside it in a different color. After that, we'll enlarge the circles so that their sides appear, which we will follow halfway around using freehand. Next, we'll do the same on the opposite half, while making sure to overlap the ends of the first half. Once done, we'll erase the two circles and shrink the empty circle to the size we want. This technique can also be used to make perfectly shaped letters, numbers, or even gear mechanisms. Do this regularly to work out your core muscles. Nice. Number 4 <laughs> You can make terrain or hazards swing simultaneously on different levels without getting in each other's way. For this to work, we'll make the same thin platform as in the second trick shown in this video. After that, we'll attach a circular block of ice with gravity enabled to one end of the thin platform and attach terrain or hazards to the other. Then, we'll position them over each other and place some terrain around the ice blocks to keep them in place without connecting the terrain to the thin platform. This trick can also be used to make stages like this wrecking ball stage, for example. Number 5 
You can make terrain rotate a lot faster by adding a gear and a small circular rail with hinged terrain enabled, both turning in the same direction. Once done, if both the gear and the rail are set to speed 100, the terrain will rotate more than twice as fast compared to terrain with a geared max speed. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it, and for now, bye! <laughs>